We've been waiting for you. How long until the coconut joy takes effect? There we go. Lovely. Now, Dr. Brooks is going to bring in a series of disturbing stimuli. Hopefully, with the coconut joy I've given you, you won't be a bit bothered. We won't actually see the stimuli. There's a blind between us and you, and a blind between you and the stimuli. It's what we call a double blind experiment. Off you go. Don't forget to write. <laughs> That's my little joke. I know you've forgotten how to write.
Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Sorry, sir. The broadcast tower has been quarantined. Well, I think if you examine the gate, you'll see that it's been unquarantined. Oh, so it has. Well then, I'll just bugger off, shan't I? <laughs> Enjoy your visit. I suppose it would be lovely to visit the old broadcast tower, but I do sort of need to get the hell out of Wellington Wells. I've got to go down. Good morning, friends. Good morning to you. <laughs> Took a V-meat sandwich off a downer this morning. tracks are just past those revolvers. in nursery. his face. Oh, 
can't keep taking joy. You'll forget Percy. I don't have to go up there. The whole floor's collapsed. So much for the tracks. I'm gonna have to go up there, aren't I? Does God hate me? smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Breathing those fumes. Looks like I wasn't the first one here. Oh, shit. Prudence. Oh, 
you're not a bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. this to each other. and get back to the tracks through the mines somehow. It's perfectly safe going into the mines. What are the odds they'll collapse again, eh? I know you. The, uh, executive committee asked me to see how things are going down here. About bloody time. I've been asking them for months. They think everything's peachy keen down here. It's not peachy keen, is it? I don't suppose you saw anyone working on the way in? Unless they were disguising it terribly well, no. They get dotty if they forget to go topside. The XCOM sent me to inspect the... The machine over there. The bucket wheel excavator. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. 
did you happen to notice a bloody great hole on your way in? That's because we delved too sloppily and too deep with that thing, and half the mine collapsed. I told the gang to stick to picks and shovels. If we start that beast up again, the rest of the mine is going to collapse and take the entire bloody parade with it. That's quite alarming. Have you removed the activator? Ah, no. The gang don't seem very interested in starting it up. I think you'd better let me remove the activator. I don't want any accidents. Ah, all right. You'll need my keycard. I'll let them know you need relief. By God, you are the most on-the-ball person I've seen in years. Are you sure you're not a downer? Uh... (laughs) Oh! You get in. Can't we work something out? No. Well, that feels entirely too good. This excavated thing to cross that abyss. I wonder how you turn it on. I've got it. What if you come with me? And I'm too old. What if I sneak you on the train? That's against. That's against the rules. Well, if we get caught, I'll just say there was a mix-up and you can play dumb. Are you sure? Remember how I snuck you on that camping trip? Didn't it work out brilliantly? Just trust me. I trust you, Arthur. I said I trust you, Arthur. We'll go to Germany together. We'll take care of each other, no matter what happens. We see the violence inherent in the system. Come on! Seriously? Can you just wait till I'm gone?
Are you really doing this to find Percy? I mean, where would you even look for him? Is he even alive? Is he in Russia? How would you even get to Germany? Oh good, I'm finally back on the right track. Huh. Spain. I've not been to Spain, except Gibraltar once. Next holiday, maybe after Christmas. Wouldn't want to miss Christmas. Oh no, the turkey. You're doing this because you don't have a strong enough sense of self-preservation to leave Wellington Wells on your own account. Oh. Mr. Hastings. Just when I'd given up all hope of seeing an engineer. You know, sir, we've come to the end of our time. Some of us cut and run. Some of us stand by our post. Some of us take care of our brother. My brother? What are you saying? All men is brothers, sir. Right. Huh. Of course. Damn thing so itchy. It's times like these what try men's souls, sir. They try men's souls. I know oh, you. Please keep your hands inside the train. It is very dangerous to You must your get back on the train. The windows Arthur, of the train. Where'd you go? Arthur! You must get back on board! No, I'm just here to take my brothers to the train. No! Mr. No, Percival no, Hastings. No, that's me, Arthur, please, Percy. No, People no, call me Percy. Please, no. Someone has written on this card that you are a bit dim, and you can't be roaming about on your own. You don't seem dim. Right. Well, um, Mum thinks I can't. Mum no, thinks I can't. No, no, Mum no, thinks no, I can't no, take Arthur, care of myself. Arthur, but I can. To tell the truth, I really did want to go to Germany with my brother, Arthur. See, we, we'd sort of take care of each other. So I tried to sneak on, but then Arthur said, no, we have to follow the rules. Is that so? I'll just run along home. Mum's probably worried sick. Can I go? This is a day we may all come to regret, Mr. Hastings. But I am not going to put one more child on that train than my duty obligates me to do. Run along. Then. Sir, are you all right? I'll best be on my way. Something terrible. Oh, we have all done things we regret, sir. 
Some of them we regretted as we done them. Some of them never quite go away. I told him we'd go to Germany together. I told him I'd hold up passports and then I walked off the train with his passport. He didn't know how to talk to anyone but me. I can't make it up to him now. Can I? No, sir. I imagine you cannot. Then who is there to forgive me? Some try to forget. I can't do that. Not anymore. Well, I suppose you... You must treat it as a gift. To know who you are. Without that, there's no hope for wisdom. I wish I still believed in some sort of mercy. Life goes on. <laughs> that is the mercy. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do.
add three cc's. Well, let's just fire this up. Please don't blow up in the next 30 seconds. Just a minute. I'm out of Blackberry Spud. Come back later. I need it now. Sorry. I don't have any now. What the hell was that? Where is it? Where's the Blackberry? I'm making it! You're lying! It's a very delicate reaction. You're saving it all for the bobbies! Ah! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Is that there, isn't it? I need my emergency kit. This better work on Spud. Oh no. No. She broke my brain. It's not possible. We sent them all away. They never came back. It's a it's a rat. I'm hallucinating, and it's a rat, and it's going to bite me. You can't be a baby. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. We better get Spot out of here. You'd think a junkie would weigh a bit less, wouldn't you? Oh, and of course, there's the blower. Brilliant. They all want Blackberry Joy. Spud couldn't have shown up at a worse time. I hope Gwen's all right. Fuck in a bucket. Uh, 
I shouldn't have left it alone. I better turn down the heat. Who is it now? Hello in there! Is there anyone in there? Constable! Whatever brings you here? Someone seems to have bashed your front door in, Mom. Terrible, isn't it? I forgot my key and I had to sort of bash my way in. I've had reports, Mom. All sorts of people come into your door. Amazing, isn't it? So many people get lost these days and they keep asking me for directions. You're not selling illicit substances, are you? You mean aside from Blackberry Joy? To the constabulary? Oh. Are you... Sally Boyle? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's stupid of me. I'm so sorry to have been a botherer. I, I know a terribly good joiner. I'll send him round, fix that door up for you. No need, Constable. But you're very sweet. I'll just, uh... I'll be on my way, Mum. Cheery bye. Sleep. He won't bother you anymore. Oh, you've got a poopy nappy, don't you? Let's go get you a nice clean one. I'll need to filter some water. Gwen's running out of nappies. I better make some more. Where did I put that cloth and tape? Wipe up time. That's a good girl. <laughs> oh, you can't be serious. Hello, Miss Boyle. Just wondering if you were uh, planning to, to, to drop by the, um, the, the, the old neighborhood anytime soon. We all miss you. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just in the middle of um, cooking, no. I'll get on the blower and let everyone know. Soon as it's ready. Promise. Oh, she's probably hungry by now. I should have fed her before I started the reaction. Can't all be broken. No, this was enough milk for a month. Fuck it, fuck it. I better go calm her down. I can't think when she's crying like that. There, there, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mummy promises. Thing is, Mummy doesn't know how she's gonna feed you. Did you know that? And if she doesn't figure it out. Baby is gonna starve to death. Is mummy the worst mummy ever? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Lionel. Wait. Lionel might have tinned milk. He has a bit of everything. <coughs> Listen, darling. Mummy's gonna go and see Lionel. Try not to cry too much till Mummy comes back. Okay? Please? 
Mommy will be back with supper as soon as she possibly can. Oh, a bit too bright and shiny, Sally. Please have tin milk, Lionel. Please. Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a mug girl like yourself. Everything I've got is as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh, the, 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 the trade from over the bridge. Well, all, all we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and they're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm... A bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the garden district. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there there's rumours of cannibals, devil worshippers, cue jumpers. It's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on eel pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. Uncle Jack Records. Jesus Christ. Gwen's life is hanging on Uncle Jack Records. Not that Lionel knows that, thank God. Damn it. I better go home and get my garden district drag. Can't walk around there in the latest Davy Hackney. I get so resentful.
You really bring out the best in us. Is this the post box I dared ask her to blow up? I really should never have posted that letter. You didn't skip your joy, did you? One of these days, Gwen, I'm going to teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys. would it take to fill the Albert Hall? I wish I knew. This is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message.
Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the Garden District, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? You can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programs out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Uncle Jack's coming. Ah, Uncle Jack's coming. coming. Uncle Jack's That's coming. a spirit. Let's show Uncle, Uncle Jack just how much we love him. Uncle Jack's coming. Exactly. 